Hello everyone. It's been a little while, but I've got a fair bit more to show today. I've been um, delivering on my promises of actually adding a bit more content to the game. So uh, all of these now spawn the related object, and I've added a couple of objects with different parameters on them as well. So this is just a standard normal object that you can pick up and hit people with, big heavy hunk of meat. You can pick it up and chuck it like any other normal object. Same applies for the steak, which is a bit more like a frisbee than a like a ball or something so if you can sort of disc it out chicken you've seen before there's now a larger sausage which works just like the normal smaller sausage so you can chain them together to make a uh, you can chain it together with the um, the big hunk of meat over here to make a nice big hefty flail which is uh, super fun to use and my new favorite weapon uh the other objects are the same the sausage is the same the ribs are just uh they're a bit frisbee-ish as well but not quite so much as the steaks fish is just a smaller thing you can stick onto the end of a sausage to use as a club and these two are the two interesting ones that have got slightly new mechanics i'm going to need to go and uh start a round off to get some guys coming in to show you what these ones do a little better so the uh the back one, the sushi, when you pick it up, you take a clump of sushi and it stays in your hand. And when you throw it, it scatters out like a shotgun shell and you can hit multiple times. Uh, I haven't balanced the damage on them or anything like that. They're all pretty weak still. Uh, but uh, yeah, and this one, the plate of shrimp, you get a nice platter of shrimp to serve. This guy is an innocent customer. Oh, I'll just kill this guy then. Instead, um, this one works just like the sushi in that it comes apart, but also the plate itself uh, shatters into its triangles when it impacts an enemy. And I just missed, so I'm going to have to pick another one up and throw it at you. But it's a, it's a breakable object. Uh, when I do the balancing on those, it'll be like a one-hit thing, so that even if you have it on the end of a stick, it'll only hit once, but it'll deal like a ton of damage to make up for its temporary nature. So it shatters into its uh, triangles and goes onto the floor. There is one other kind of object I've added. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Um, customers now walk. So any anyone who is innocent will only walk. If they've just come into the shop um, and they haven't picked up an item to steal yet, they will be moving at walking speed. If they're going towards the till to pay for their item or if they're leaving the store with the item they've paid, they'll be at walking speed. But um, thieves uh, now run only once they have actually properly become a thief uh, by stealing an item and starting to run out of the shop with it. So as soon as he's left and despawned, I'll stick another coin in the machine and we'll have some more people sworn in. And yeah, this is my favorite new item. Uh, it's gonna need a little bit of graphical work done to it. It's a beer can and because of its carbonated contents, when it strikes an enemy, it flies off in a random direction. So uh, I'm just going to drop it on him and it bounces all over the store for about five seconds and then uh, it uh, comes to a halt. And while it's in the air, it's obviously a projectile that can damage the enemies again as well. Uh, so you can use it like a kind of impromptu makeshift gun too, because um, oh, he's just walked over a weapon that for some reason hasn't despawned. I'll uh, look at that in a bit. But yeah, so ah, here we go. We have it beer thief so i'm going to grab the beer hit ah oh, i missed hit him with it and then let go and it sort of fired out like a bullet <laughs> which is absolutely awesome i just knocked both of his legs off there but yeah it's my new favorite thing i'm gonna i'm gonna work a little bit on to making this look graphically better because it'll be uh great when there's a big particle trail of beer coming out of it and it starts doing this crazy stuff all over the store so it's yeah it's like <laughs> properly bouncing around i um i was finding that the physics if i just had it with physics it was like flying against the wall like this and just sort of getting stuck against the wall so um i've got some detection in there where if the angle that it um collides with another collidable at is um like so close that it's gonna just uh, flatten out like that that it will reverse direction and its physics forces will be reversed as well so it sort of bounces super super fast out of the way which is why it's 
just it's like a pinball when it bounces around the store and i think even though it's not particularly realistic it's absolutely funny and i really really like it so i'm going to try and uh bean this guy with a can that's spin spinning around a lot just to show you sort of some of the chaos that comes out of it so it's like, it's like bouncing around <laughs> it's, it's, i love it it's the best oh man oh dear i'm gonna see if i can actually stop a thief yeah, took his head off. Yeah, the meat's really heavy. It deals a huge amount of damage at the moment. It's the main main thing I use when I need to actually test out killing someone. Because it's uh, practically a baseball bat at this stage. Just, just like, come on, come at me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's, uh, that's some of the stuff I've been working on. Um, I'm going to be adding like more new kinds of mechanics and stuff like uh, things that leave environmental effects behind, like the uh, the shattering thing on the floor. Maybe it'll deal a bit of damage to people as they walk across it. Um, maybe the, there's going to be a bottle that will shatter and different liquids will have different effects. Like maybe they'll make the floor slippery so that the, the actors ragdoll for a bit before they're able to get up or something. Uh, that kind of thing's where I'm going to now that I've got the sort of core game loop pretty much nailed down i'm just going right adding new content sort of as i think of something interesting i'll find a model in the store that i can apply it to and then do that so yeah this is a bit of a long one because i uh had quite a lot of stuff to go through because i've been having quite a lot of fun but um yeah that'll uh about cover it i think i'm going to carry on working on this game uh, i have got an idea for another game i'm going to work on probably for the uh the gear vr this time just to flex my muscles developing for mobile uh vr but and it'll be a, a very very different game with a very very different atmosphere that one uh, i'm just going to try and do my little gun trick again because it's uh one of my f oh it flew away <laughs> it's gone <laughs> oh great so i'm gonna tap him and then let go <laughs> i love it it's awesome uh hey come back here ah, i think i'm missed I oh, know, I, yeah, I hit an innocent guy on the way in. Anyway, yeah, that's about it for this week's update. Um, I had great fun this on this uh, particular little stint. We stole a fish. Yeah, I'll uh, see you in the next one. Goodbye.